how to increase your domain rating quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can increase your domain rating. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that everyone is wondering is that domain ratings are important. Are they not important? There is a lot of conflicting opinion on the internet. Well, the first thing I would say that you should not focus on the domain rating because sometimes it can be a bit deceiving because it might not be as essential essential as you initially thought it would be and I will explain this exactly at the end of this video so let's get into what actually domain rating is and how do you check it how do you measure it and what is the purpose of this well domain rating is basically the high quality backlinks from authoritative websites so if I have this website over here even though it has a non-purchased domain name which is directly from the Wix free domain name if I have in backlinks basically mean when another website refers to your website so they're linking to your website from their website and high rating would mean a larger website like the New York Times or IMDb or any other large website if these websites are ranked like linking my website I would get a high domain rating so that is domain rating it is called a bunch of other things on the internet domain authority domain rating and there might be a few other alternative names as well so we're going to be talking about the domain rating and how to improve it so this was actually a metric that is usually contained or maintained by SEO companies, SEO optimization companies that have created this rating. And it's just a bunch of more numbers that are going to tell you how many websites are linking back to your website. And you shouldn't worry that much about it. And I don't think it's that essential of a product or that essential of SEO optimization to get a high domain rating. It's not going to affect your SEO as much as you might think it would. And it's it's not going to drive more traffic to your website just because you have backlinks and yet just because you have you know artificially inflated your DA or domain ranking so so there are some tools that their website authority merit can predict a website's ranking and usually I would usually say that you shouldn't trust that because SEOs generally agree that website authority does play somewhat of a factor in rankings but there isn't direct correlation between the two and there is domain rating is usually ranked more so to the keywords because if someone is doing domain rating if someone is out here searching for domains that have a high DA they probably have a lot of keywords in their website as well so usually it's a correlation not causation kind of situation when people say that a high domain ranking actually helps them with their SEO so uh, let's say that you go on ahead and have the domain ranking of the New York Times so if we search for the domain rating of the New York Times we can paste it over here, you can verify you're not a robot and click on check over here. And now you can see the domain rating is 95. Now, if I go on ahead and search for IMDB, I can just copy their link and then I can just paste the domain name over here, 95 for the New York Times, which is one of the largest newspapers out there. IMDB has the same DA. So you might be wondering, hey, is this really that effective? And that is exactly what I'm saying now. If your website gets a domain link from the New York Times, it's not going to get as high of a domain ranking as it would from IMDb. Now, the reason for that is because with New York Times, they are almost linking one website with each of these articles that they write. Uh, they have like thousands upon thousands of websites that are being linked or they are backlinking from their websites. However, IMDb only has 4,000 or 5,000 websites that they are backlinking. So if you get a backlink from IMDb, you would actually get a higher domain ranking than you would if you got it from the New York Times. Now, does this actually mean that your website is not going to get as much traffic as if you were to get a backlink from the New York Times instead of IMDb? Well, that's absolutely false because if you got a backlink from such a large website or publication, of course, you're going to get more clicks and more viewership on your actual website. So that is why I don't recommend that you focus that much on the domain ranking. If I go on ahead and take this simple domain over here, this has no domain backlinks. I can just paste it, verify you're not a robot. And now you can see it has a domain ranking of one. But if I was to get a backlink from one website, just like IMDb, which is a very high DA ranking website, 
which had the loud domain authority, that would mean I would get like someone around 35 in terms of DA for my website if I was able to get a domain backlink from their website. So there is a lot of, you know, numbers and there is a lot of talk about SEO optimization, but it's really not serving you the purpose that SEO does, which if I was to SEO optimize this website, I would actually go on ahead and purchase a domain name that is trendy. I would go on ahead and revamp the website, add keywords, add promote it on social media, add multiple different keywords, add keywords to the descriptions and as well as popular tags to the website. And that is a better way to get your website to be noticed. And in terms of domain authority or the domain ranking, it's purely metrics. It's purely just going to be a number. And you need to look at both the quantity and quality of the links pointing to a website. So if you're doing backlinking, just because you got, you know, a 57 website backlinks on your domain name doesn't mean that they're good backlinks. You need high authority backlinks. So that means you're getting organic backlinks from a larger website. Don't just try to get as many backlinks as you possibly can. You should actually get backlinks from variable and legitimate sources. So those sources like a larger website like the New York Times or even like a smaller website, but that actually has genuine content and actual, you know, merit to that website so that is one of the most essential things that you actually have to do for your specific domain authority to be increased now increasing a website's domain rating for from 76 to 80 would be a much bigger jump than going from 3 to 4 or even 3 to 10. that is because initially like a website like this even if i'm able to get like it has a da rating of one if i'm able to get like one two three you know random small websites to backlink my website over here that currently has a da at one then I would actually jump to like 10 or 15 in terms of DA. But the higher you get in terms of DA, the more difficult it gets to jump up. So maybe if your DA or domain authority is around maybe 55, then going from 55 to 56 or 57 is going to be far, far, far more difficult than the initial step that you took. And you're going to need backlinks from larger and larger websites for your website to keep on growing your domain uh, authority and you need the referring domain so the referring websites as I was speaking to be larger and larger for a larger jump in your overall domain authority and that is why I don't really recommend this to be a large part of your website building if you have a good website and you're posting genuine content the domain name authority or the domain ranking is not going to be that big of a deal and like let's take an example if a website has a thousand followed referring domains that all come to a dr0 website it's unlikely that those links will do much for a linked page and you don't want to over inflate your domain ranking resources based on quantity so that means that where the websites so if I get a backlink, like if I create this website just to backlink my own other website, so if I want to get backlinks for this website, I just keep on adding them onto like my own websites and the website is just linking back to zero DR websites, then I'm actually going to not get any kind of domain ranking at all. So that is another thing you need to keep in mind whenever you're trying to build your domain ranking. So make sure that you follow these tips when you are going to build your your domain ranking, whatever you might be considering to do with backlinks. If you're going to hire an agency or build your own backlinks, make sure that you understand that the backlinks you generate are going to be very essential in terms of what the backlink is coming from, if it's coming from a authoritative website or just a random website. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.